I'm Noni Purnomo. I'm from YPO Indonesia chapter. I've been in YPO since year 2003, and I'm currently the CEO of a largest transportation company in Indonesia, which is called the Bluebird Group. The family business started in uh, 1971, so it was a while ago. Um, started by my late grandmother, and uh, we have we have grown from two cars in 1971. Now we have more than 36,000 vehicles, and we have more than 42,000 uh, drivers and employees working with us. Being in YPO helped me a lot, not only helping me in my business um, life, but also in my personal life. And it is really good to be in YPO because it's just balanced my life out. I basically grew up in YPO. I've been in YPO for 12 years. So, you know, from an innocent young girl to a mature person at this moment, and it's all because of YPO. So I learned a lot from joining the Life in Focus in India, from uh, being a champion for mother and daughter in Bali, it was the first time in Asia, and from, from going to Harvard, uh, YPO Harvard yearly. So it's just really been an enriching experience for me. I think YPO are very close to each other. Everywhere I go, if I try to contact a YPO, they're always welcome and they're very quick in replying. And uh, really, they, it's, it's like we're, we're like one big happy family. And that makes a huge difference. And I joined other type of organization and I don't feel the same way. I don't feel the same warm warmness. So that makes a huge difference. So everywhere I go, I would have friends and I know that. Our business is built for purpose. My late grandmother uh, used to tell me that our responsibility now uh, to grow this business is not just for the shareholders uh, of the company, but our responsibility is for everybody who live and breathe within the company, including their family members. And that's why uh, we launch several things. So we include the family of our employees. We currently have more than 38,000 drivers and about 6,000 employees. Um, we only have, from the 38,000 drivers, we only have 100 female drivers. And most of our drivers are married. So then I saw this opportunity of giving empowerment, more empowerment for the women, because most of them, 99%, if, if I can say so, uh, they stay at home and do nothing. And by giving them the opportunity to work from home, it, it not only just help with the economy of the family, but that means that one or all of their children will receive better education. So we give scholarships to the children of our drivers. Every semester we're giving to about 2,300 students. And on top of that, with the Women Empowerment uh, Program, we give uh, vocational training for the wives of the drivers because I recognize that one of the biggest uh, challenges for the women or for the wives to, to do something is that because they have to take care of the household. So we're trying to look for something to do or a new business to build from their home. I think uh, what is important for me is to encourage and motivate other women to reach their dream. It doesn't matter what their dreams are. Even being a, a housewife, I think it's a, it's a very noble dream. As long as each single person do it wholeheartedly. And uh, the last thing we should do is to do something that we don't really want to do. So I hope by doing what I'm doing, I would be able to convey that message. Within the network, we do a lot of sharings from how do we uh, handle family politics through business politics, you know, the whole conversation. And through the sharing, I, I learned a lot. And it is the importance of having independent board, even in a family business. I think that's another thing that I learned from Family Business Network. How do we select the right board? Because uh, it, can, it doesn't have to be exactly the same board as a as a pure professional company, for example, because the people who have to be selected in board have to understand how a family business think and act. Uh, so that is a very important part, and I learned all of that from the Family Business Network. YPO program cater for every single need that a CEO needs in, in our life. 
So again, it's not just the business challenges uh, or business growth, but also personal growth and family growth. I think this is the only organization that is holistic, that is balanced. And so to be open and to join the events, don't be shy and join a forum because that is a very important part of YPO and join networks.